Coming up next on ATE TV. Simulation and game development. The mission of the simulation and game development is to teach students skills and theory behind uh, software and the process of what it takes to get a job and do the job in the field in the industry. Geospatial technologies. It's important for programs like this to exist to show students that science, engineering, technology is not scary. It's something that everybody can be successful at. And civil engineering technologies. I like the possibility of a work environment where I'm not necessarily crammed into a 4x4 cube. Now on ATE TV. From across the country to your own backyard, ATE TV shows you the many advanced technological education opportunities available at your local community college. Did you know you can turn your love of playing video games into a career designing and making them? Let's take a look at the simulation and game development program at Wake Technical Community College. Community colleges are all about preparing folks for the workforce. That is our primary mission, workforce development. So we work very closely with industry representatives, uh, advisory committees, and they really drive what we train individuals on. So when students are uh, finished with us, they're ready to enter the workforce because we have designed that program based upon what they have told us to do. All right, so we're going to start off with lighting and shadows. We're going to be in chapter 10. Pull up the house that you worked on earlier this semester. The mission of the simulation and game development is to teach students skills and theory behind uh, software and the process of what it takes to get a job and do the job in the field in the industry. What about the side? Did you get the side, all three of those side windows as well? Yeah. One of my favorite courses here was the 212 class. It's where we had to make a game every two weeks. So that was eight games we made in that entire semester. And it was the greatest experience I'd ever had. It was constantly working my fingers to the bone and just like, I've got to crank this game out. I've got to make it good. I've got to do this. And I would do it. And it showed in the thing. Even though it was only a two week game, you could just see the passion in everybody's eyes when they were like, oh, that's amazing. So it was really cool. It was, it was really rewarding. So the type of student we get is normally somebody who's interested, they've played games all their life, um, and they've realized that, wow, that's not, just, uh, that's not just playing games, but I could actually make games and develop them. And many times these are students who have already thought about games that they would like to make. They'll be playing a game and they'll be thinking, wow, it would be really neat uh, if I could create a game that's very similar to this, but I could have my own ideas, my own characters, my own story. And, uh, and so they come here and they actually get the chance to develop these ideas that they have and, uh, and make them a reality. How do I change the scale of this? Right now, I am working on developing a simulation to help people learn how to perform CPR. This is something that I'm doing on my own as a, as a side project to help build up my portfolio and hopefully teach people how to save lives. If you want to get your gaming to the next level and start a career creating your own video games, then be sure to check out the simulation and game development programs at your local community college. If you're currently in high school and interested in science and engineering, then programs like this one at Central Piedmont Community College can help you find a career that's right for you. At Central Piedmont Community College, we spend a considerable amount of time recruiting students at the high school level. Most students are looking for careers, they're not sure what they want to study, and so we participate in career fairs, and introduce geospatial technology so that the students uh, don't see it as something completely new. It becomes familiar to them. One huge new development we have is dual enrollment with K through 12 students, where students can take our courses free of charge while in high school and get college credit as well as high school credit and earn a certificate before they ever come here as a college student. 
You guys already have majors. I do. Um, what do you What do you graphic doing? design? Graphic design. That's right up the avenue of geospatial technology. You should come and check it out. What about you? It's important for programs like this to exist to show students that science, engineering, technology is not scary. It's something that everybody can be successful. Yes, our strength is geospatial technology. Community colleges across the country offer high school students the opportunity to earn college credit by studying emerging technology fields like geospatial technologies. Interested in developing skills that will prepare you for a high-tech career? Or maybe you've been out of school for a while and are considering going back? Take a look at the civil engineering program being offered at Bristol Community College. My name is Vittorio Pascal. I'm here second year planning to become a civil engineer. Post high school, I attended a liberal arts school for a year and afterwards worked as a salesman for about eight years. I went back to school to have a career, to have a tangible skill that I can make money and be happy at. I think this one's too, maybe small. A civil engineer can work anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. I like a possibility of a work environment where I'm not necessarily crammed into a 4x4 four four cube. Let's put it on this one. It's definitely hands-on and also theory. You know how water in a tube tries to find its own level? So it I like the access here. Professors are definitely available for one-to-one. -one. They're always hanging around the buildings doing something. What might we do with our flotation? There was water getting in there. It's definitely one of the pluses as opposed to somebody that you never see besides just the one hour or the hour and a half that you're in their class for. The nature of the small classes enables a lot of interaction between students. You might find yourself asking a peer a question as to how to better implement something. We'll make a bracket right in the middle. I participate in the ROV competition, having to deal with the water and the marine environment. I did an internship in underwater acoustics to build a transducer for communications on the water, which connects to my ROV experience. It's never too late. I'm here after eight years from graduating my last liberal arts education, and I'm wanting to become an engineer. It's not easy, but it's definitely a challenge. Theoretical and hands-on learning, direct one-to-one -one contact with professors, and the opportunity to work anywhere in the world. Programs in civil engineering technology offer all that and more. For more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.